See what he has to say. Oh. <laughs> You're SpongeBob. SpongeBob! <laughs> this is SpongeBob. What's going on guys and girls? My name is James, or thanks to ya, and welcome back to a brand new Minecraft adventure map let's play. And today we are going to be playing the mystery of the timekeeper. Yeah, so I kind of thought it was about time we did a new adventure map. I really, really enjoy these, and I think loads of people really enjoy watching them, which is awesome. So I thought, why not? And I've picked quite a cool one here, because this is actually a Minecraft 1.8 adventure map. And you may be thinking, but gems, it's not out yet. Well, this is kind of made for snapshots, because it uses a load of new command block features that are only available in the snapshots at the moment. So I've updated to the latest snapshot as of now. And, uh, yeah, I've kind of, everything seems to be working and everything, so, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So this is the room we've spawned in, and it has some various signs, so let's take a look at these quickly. So it says, Azza and Weeble present a wonderful adventure full of time, mystery, excitement, danger, curiosity, puzzles, challenge, obstacles, teamwork, animals, petrifying experiences, some nice ones too. Explosions, thunder, fireworks, light bulbs, snow, ice, vodka, <laughs> fights, <laughs> questions, and sneaky pop culture references. So that sounds like my kind of map. Uh, let's just read all of these little sort of pod things here. Okay, so it says, Found all throughout the adventure are tokens. 38 tokens of seeking, 12 of solving, 6 of teamwork. They are an optional objective challenge to the main story, but add a lot to the overall experience. Inside the first starter room, uh, where you begin your adventure, is a book uh, with a full list of all tokens and rough locations. You should take this with you and keep it safe. You'll still need to search and solve to find them all. Okay, teamwork tokens are designed for... Yeah, that's... I have no friends. Uh, everything else can be used with one player. Teamwork tokens are marked by gold blocks around them. Fair dues. Okay, so what else do we have here? Uh, this is just the settings. Uh, it's really cool though, because when you actually install this mod using a, a snapshot and then you just put it in, it sets all of this for you. Um, so if you can go into like uh, my options here, like all of this stuff is locked and all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty cool with the, the, the blocks. Quite as late as Minecraft, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so follow the story. And if you feel lost, talk to the NPCs again. Uh, they may give you guidance. Uh, nothing is hidden in random parts, so you don't need to wander off. Do not randomly discard items or you'll be given. And then the final little pod here is... Oh... Push button for Azza's YouTube link. All right, fair enough. There we go. It's UK Azza and Weeble, uh, Mr. Weebs, and these are the these are the guys that made this map. So uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. All right, so I guess we should probably get started. So it's mystery of the timekeeper. Important. Stay in adventure mode. Step inside to begin your adventure. Da -da -da. Oh, ah, these are the okay. So these are the tokens. We don't really need the teamwork ones. Those are irrelevant for this. Um, token of solving and token of seeking. So it's either a gas tier or it's a piece of paper. Does this make sense? Uh, this is a quick start guide. Uh, token list. I guess I'll take these. Token overview. Uh, what's in here? Same thing? Okay. Let's have a little read of this quickly. It says, follow the story, complete the quests, uh, find the tokens, enjoy. Uh, we do recommend that you take at least one... Yeah, all right, fair enough. Okay. I guess this is the way forward. Welcome, another adventurer. Come to seek their fortune, I suppose. Oh, this is an NPC. Right, okay. Well, I don't know about fortune, but you should head on to the village. We could certainly use some help. Oh, this is so cool. Look at that. <laughs> You'll see. We seem to be on the cusp of eternal darkness. The sun hangs on this horizon. Horizon. Never quite vanishing and never rising. Take some time. Uh, take t Talk to the time steward in the clock tower. He might appreciate some help if you can prove yourself trustworthy. Okay, random block dude. It's time to start a new adventure. Yeah! <laughs> so, I'm pretty excited. Uh, how is everyone doing? I hope you're all well and stuff. Uh, I have a bit of a sore throat, so apologies if I sound a little bit weird. I'm not sick. I feel good, but I just woke up with like quite a sore throat, and this is... Oh, this place looks cool. But yeah, this is quite important to my YouTube, my throat, so it's quite sore at the moment, but uh, it's not too bad to like talk and stuff, so it's all good. It's just kind of sore. So yeah, I might sound a few octaves deeper. Andy Dufresne was a good man. I know, was it was a quiet man. It's a good film. That's a pop culture re pop culture reference of my own. Uh, but yeah, I sound a bit a bit low in the throat. Okay, who's this dude? Greetings! You should really run along and speak to the time steward in the clock tower. Perhaps come see me again after. Okay, bro. Can I steal any of your stuff? Should I take this bread? Yes, I will. Um, so yeah, because we're in adventure mode, there's kind of... 
I can pretty much take whatever I want, I believe. I mean, there's loads of food here in case we need it. Although I am in venture mode, so obviously I can't break stuff. Uh, apart from the stuff it tells me to. Oh, yeah, let me just take a little sip of the old coffee here quickly. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, sweet brown water. That is good. Okay, let's head down here. Um, so, oh, wow, look at that. So this, this must be the clock tower. But what is the mystery? I suppose that's what we're going to find out. Um, let's go and check this. So we don't really need to concentrate too much on wandering off. So I guess we can kind of just um, follow the the main sort of way. Uh, and there's loads of village area around here that I kind of want to check this out. But I'm guessing we should probably go and talk to this dude first. See what he has to say. Oh. <laughs> Sponge man. SpongeBob! <laughs> there's a SpongeBob. Uh, we call him SpongeBob. All right, so let's have a look here. Exit to the village. Um, exit to Minster. Minister? Minster, but we can't go there yet. So we can go all the way up. Oh my god. Okay, we can go all the way up here. Uh, this is exit to the time stores. So this is a chest with nothing in it. And let's click see what this dude has to say. Oh, hello there, adventurer. You've probably noticed by now. We all have a serious problem. Uh, he's slightly Scottish, in case you're wondering. <laughs> you see? There isn't just a clock tower. It's the clock tower. It doesn't measure time. It actually is time. Is it? Oh, cool. However, the clock seems to have frozen. <laughs> the sun is struck. Not quite dropping below the... I can't do it, sorry. I appreciate your eagerness to help. But before I tell you more, you're going to have to prove you're a trustworthy salt capable of getting things done. Okay. Head to the village and help some of the locals out. Uh, if you can gather at least five tokens of gratitude and put them in the chest beside me, then I will tell you more. Okay, just ask around the village. You could check in with the nearby guard tower in the mayor's house, the windmill, the farm, or any of the houses nearby. Hmm, SpongeBob. I'm so sorry. Any Scottish people? I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't really Scottish, like Scottish Irish. And it made, made little sense either way. Uh, Juliet's dwelling. Juliet, you're so blocky. Uh, the hell are these? <laughs> Snapshot! <laughs> I think they're supposed to be carpet tiles, but they've gone a bit mad. Uh, so what do you have to say for yourself, love? Oh, hello there! Oh, she's a girl, isn't it? Oh, hello there! <laughs> Would you do me a little favour in return? Right, my friend Amy is out, and I was admiring the view from the top of the clock tower. Okay, I think they admire... Oh, right, okay, right. So what do I have to do, Juliet? Could you give her this message for me, please? Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Oh, she's at the top of the tower. Right. Okay, so Juliet hands you a small sealed envelope with Swalk, sealed with a loving kiss on the back. Okay. Okie dokie. So I guess we need to give this to... Oh, there's something up here. Beds. We can actually... I'm going to sleep here, actually. We can... Uh, the, the thing is, like, there's, like, save points so you can sleep in beds, but I don't actually think that the time ever changes outside, for now anyway, so we can kind of, whenever we see a bed, we can just sleep in it and save our location or whatever. So I'm guessing we need to go all the way to the top of the clock tower. All along the watchtower, said Stevie to the boost. Uh, oh, God. Man, this thing's big. So hopefully we'll find... What was her name again? I don't know. That NPC was Julia. So we need to find Juliet's, uh, I don't know, <laughs> could be anything, could be a sister, could be her lover, it could be a mother, it could be anyone. So let's, um, oh, this is her, hello. Oh, a message from me, Juliet. From me, Juliet, oh, a message for me from Juliet. Thank you, stranger. Oh, Amy blushes and hands you a token of gratitude. That's awesome. Okay, so this is the top of the tower. There's a door here. Wow, check this out. We're behind the clock face. Um, should we be up here? I'm kind of thinking not, because I don't really want to fall off. Um, I guess we could have a little look-see, see if there's anything uh, around here. Because it would be kind of rude not to. We've, we've come this far. I don't think there is anything, though. Um, because... Uh, I reckon I reckon a lot of the stuff in this map is probably that it's going to be there if they tell us to go there. But um, for now, is there any water I can hardcore park or actually I'm not even not even going to risk it. Not even going to risk it. Not even for a biscuit. Oh, we can go up higher. <gasps> Should we do it? Yes. Climb, climb, 
Climb. Are we getting like behind the mechanism or something? And there's nothing here. <laughs> that was a waste of time. Dun, 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 dun. It's a cool little build, this. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. This thing apparently has some really, really big builds and stuff in it. So looking forward to seeing those. Looking forward to them. Uh, what are these? Buttons. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be touching those just yet. Uh, <laughs> I'll uh, I'll come back, and if, if they actually say, James, go and press the buttons in the thing, then I'll do that. But for now, um, I probably shouldn't. Just in case I break something. And we all know we've done that before, haven't we? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yours, yours. Okay. Just run down here quickly. So this is a token of gratitude for a job well done. So that's a slime ball. And then the other one was a gas tier, I think, and a um, do, 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 piece of paper. Yeah, a piece of paper. So um, that's pretty cool. So we've got a... Do we have to give this back to her or something? Or Thank you again, kind stranger. Can I have something? Please. No. Okay. Man, these command blocks are clever. I love these things. So, like, you can do custom voices for, like, you know, different characters and stuff. And, yeah, very cool. All right, so the next one is the Time Stewart's house. Oh, I was supposed to see this dude, wasn't I? Oh, unless this is... Oh, he's not home because he's in the tower. SpongeBob. That was him. Okay, so this is his house. Very nice indeed. Very nice, very nice. Anything I can rob? No. I wonder what these are. I can't break them. Oh, you snapshots. You buggy individuals. Uh, Alright, so what's this? This is the guard tower. So, resident guard Captain Steve. Oh! A dwelling cane. A dueling, <laughs> dwelling cane. A dueling cane. I'm going to steal one of those. Uh, I might steal another one when I come down, actually. Um, Alright, let's go and check this dude out. This is like a baton. Can I baton you? <laughs> You can do nothing about it because you're a block. All right, okay. So what does this dude have to say? Ah, adventurer, I have a task for you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Just behind this tower is the Keeper's Cottage. He's Scottish as well, in case you're wondering. <laughs> Stop doing Scottish. <laughs> oh, all right, maybe you do German. <laughs> I heard rumors that within the house lies a secret entrance to the old escape tunnels built during the last war. Oh, that's, that's inconvenient. <laughs> they run under... <laughs> Wait a minute. They run under the entire village. Uh, they could come in very useful for a business venture of mine. See if you can find anything and report back to me if you do. All right. Okay. Oh, man. You wouldn't actually think that I'm half German, would you? No, not with that accent. I am fully, like, British-born, but I'm half German, if that makes sense. Uh, where's this dude? I heard rumors within the house lies a secret entrance. Ah, so we need to find a secret entrance of some sort. Right. Is there anything? I don't think it'll be here. It might have been down at the bottom. Keep an eye out for buttons. Keep an eye out for them buttons, eh? Or is it beneath the house? What did it say again? I'm going to take another bat on. I heard rumours that... Oh, we need to go to the Keeper's Cottage. It's the Keeper's Cottage. Okay. Is it the Timekeeper's Cottage or just the Keeper's Cottage? Because this is a... Oh, this is a steward. So, okay, fine, fine. So, there, I think there might be another house that we need to go to. Uh, there's a couple of them down here. So, this is the wizard's house. That sounds amazing. And this is the time monument and abandoned house. Interesting. Let me read that again. I was, I was concentrating so hard on being German that I didn't actually read it properly. Just behind this tower is the keeper's cottage. Ah, so this must be one of these. Uh, unless it's that one. Uh, which it might be. It might be. Let's have a look. This is the mayor's house. Keep off the lawn. Let's go and check this dude out. Uh, fanciest house. He's a mayor, isn't he? That's what your taxes get to. All right, let's see what this dude has to say. Yeah, let's do this guy. All right. Uh, <laughs> why, hello there, stranger. <laughs> say, how would you like to help me out in return for a token of gratitude? Yeah, sure, man. My pleasure. On the outskirts of town to the northwest beyond the stone monument is an old dark house. In the dark, dark house. Underneath are some long abandoned gold mines. Worth a fo- uh, I mean, which are very dangerous. And I mean the house should be condemned. Yes, condemned. You want all the gold yourself, don't you, you greedy sausage? The, the owner hasn't been seen for many months and always had a dark air about him. But I can't do anything without the deeds. Mm-hmm. 
See if you can find your way into the dark old place and bring the deeds back to me. Follow the broken path past the stone monuments. Right. Okay, bro. Oh, and our little secret, right? You are so corrupt. Man, you're corrupt. Man, you're like Kim Jong-il of Minecraft. Corrupt. Uh, all right. So now we're looking for a... We should probably go looking for these, to be honest. We're looking for a... Uh, an abandoned house? And then we're also looking for a keeper's house. Ah! Keeper's cottage. The keeper's cottage. Ah, this is the one with the secret entrance, isn't it? Alright, let's look for this one first. Uh, well, that looks suspicious. There's a hopper. That looks a bit suspicious, but... Oh, I like that. That's like a sink. I've never you. Yeah! That's cool. This must be something. It's quite dark in here, but a secret chest. Ah, token of seeking. Is that what I'm looking for? Or is that just a... No, the token of seeking was for, like, um, exploring, was it? Let me have a look. Quick start guide. No, that's the wrong one. A token overview. There we go. Let's have a look at this. Uh, 50 tokens. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, God. Token of Seeking can always be reached simply by exploring. They are only ever found... Ah, okay. So these are these are just um, general things that you can get for just looking around, which is pretty sweet. Um, let's take a look around. I'm not seeing very many hidden entrances. Hidden areas. I guess I should be looking for... Oh! Did you hear that? That's the sound of a chest opening. But where is chest?! Hmm? I have no idea. We're in the attic now. Some beds, a jukebox. Um, just like, a, I guess this is the chimney. Oh, oh, happy days. Oh, happy days. I think I found it. Let's go check this out. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, you've discovered enough to report to Captain Steve. Yes, but Captain Steve did not mention that I couldn't steal everything inside. Oh, puzzle. Work. <laughs> oh no, I hate these things. Uh, uh, what looks like the prettiest pattern? That. That. All of them. One up. Are we supposed to be doing this? No, I did it. I heard I heard a door. Ah, yes. <laughs> oh, cool. So we got another token. So this is the token of solving. Yay. So there's going to be like loads of little puzzles and stuff in and around this map. And I guess we've just got one of them. Happy days. So now we've got one token of solving and one token of seeking. That's pretty sweet. Hmm. Ah, every time I see one of these, I think Rise of the Pigmen. And I think, where's my levers? I need... Random pressure plate. What the hell? What's that opening? Ah, that's the combination! <laughs> so I guessed it, but okay, so if I do see things like that, then I'm guessing the combinations are going to be hidden in and around the same area. That's really clever. So clever! Alright. I like that a lot. So it doesn't seem that I just have to randomly, like, flick levers. There is actually hidden, like, tricks and stuff. Let me just grab some brown and water quickly. Oh, yeah. That is, that is the stuff. That is the stuff. Right, so let's, um, let's go and head back, and we've got to give this dude to the, how the hell do we get out? Oh, so it's, it's, it's the attic, isn't it? There we go. Get out! There we go. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's go and, how do we go? Which guy was this? Oh, it was the guy in the tower, wasn't it? Yes, yes, it was the dude in the tower. So, now we still need to go to the abandoned house, and we need to get ourselves some deeds for that corrupt mayor because he wants to steal all the gold underneath the house and he's not letting the residents know so we're not supposed to tell him all right okay boom you found the old tunnels do they exist amazing work yes i have i'm sure i can clear the cave ish and put those tunnels to good use for my uh well let's just say important export business you're a drug dealer <laughs> okay fair enough uh fair enough dude uh so what do do I give you this? Ah, yay! So we've got two tokens of gratitude. Happy days. Alright, so let's go and find 
the abandoned house and see what lurks within.